everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you guys a kind of weekly vlog, more of a Christmas, you spend a few days with me, but it's a vlog. few days but I needed to do an intro to this vlog because it had no intro on it but it's just been a Christmassy few days I did Christmas wrapping I hosted friends Christmas at my house I went Christmas shopping also speak to you guys about a rash that I've come out in that has now spread to my hands as well it's really painful um but I'm going to talk to you guys about that a little bit later in the vlog and yeah that's basically it but I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started we're in asda and i am just doing a big shop not only for friends christmas but i've also managed to get like my wrapping so i've got wrapping for mum's birthday i have got wrapping for christmas presents we've got these platters to put the food on got cups and then we also thought it'd be cute if we all got matching pjs so we've got some matching pjs has and callum don't actually know about that yet but they're gonna love them we are back home and we have matching pjs they're so cute Karen, come in as well. yeah <laughs> We're just waiting for Haz and Lewis to get here and Callum has also got matching PJs But he doesn't know about it yet, but he's not coming so we're gonna give him them tomorrow But we are having a little impromptu cooking Christmas evening. I'm gonna cook lasagna So I've got all my ingredients out here. I've got the sauces. We've got onion mushrooms mint pepper chips And then I'm gonna do some salad on the side as well We're gonna have some mauled wine. Freya's gonna do the mauled wine and we're gonna watch a Christmas film Don't know what film yet. I'm having a bath. Can we do love actually? Fire's having a bath. Oh, we could watch love actually. Oh. Did you know? Or we could do the holiday. I, I tried don't... to get Lewis to watch the holiday yesterday. He won't watch they're that. bringing out the holiday sequel. They're not, yeah. they're not. It's live. It's live. You're lying. Oh, no, really it's live. Right. It's all not, the same. It's the last like Christmas all. ruin because I was like, oh my god. No, I'm it's buzzing. a lie. It was a fake news. I know. Gutted. Lasagna was cooking and we are going through all of my beauty advent calendars because obviously I wasn't here for the first like 12, 13 days and then I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of forgotten to open them. So we're just sat opening every single door now. We're on the PLT one, we've done the Revolution one and then we've got the Glossy Box one. What's that? Carmex. Love a Carmex. Thanks, dinner. We're chefed up tonight. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is so good. But you know what I think makes it look better? The plates. Because my plates were really crap before. They look like McDonald's chips. I did the same thing. Yeah, well you oh, chose God. the chips actually. Is that not what you'd normally get? Well, yeah, they are, but you chose them, so I forgot. <laughs> It is the next day and it is time to prep for friends at Christmas. So I've gotten all the food out here. Basically, we decided last minute to not do a roast and instead do a very classic, like 12 year old, year five party theme because cooking a roast for, I think it's 12 people, seems pretty impossible, I'm not gonna lie. So we thought this would probably be easier. So we have gone for very, very, very classic party food. We have got tortilla chips and then obviously we've got the dip. We're gonna do sandwiches, so we're gonna do cheese, ham, and then we've got like an egg mayonnaise one and then do cheese and ham ones as well it's like cheese and ham separately you guys know what i mean then we've got cookies and muffins party rings we've got the ham we've got some roast chicken bites we've got some coleslaw we've got chocolate fingers we've got the dips oreos and then we've got this big meat selection here as well and then i'm also going to put some crackers out we've got scotch eggs and we've got olives i think this is going to be such a cute little spread and then to put it on we have just got these classic silver serving platters and then we've got some cups here but i think to be honest i got six platters don't know if i'm going to be able to fill six platters maybe i'll go for like four i'll do like maybe maybe two with sandwiches on if there's gonna be enough one with crisps oh actually i don't know maybe i could feel sick we'll see what happens i love hosting those hosting is actually my favorite thing ever please ignore my hair i have just washed it so it's gone pretty crazy and pretty frizzy i'm just gonna leave it and then i'm gonna curl it in a little while first time i'm gonna curl my hair in i think over six weeks so i'm not really sure how it's gonna go but i'm gonna prep the food before i get ready even though i'm not putting makeup on we're having a pajama party i'm wearing these same pajama bottoms that i got from asda and i think i'm just gonna wear this jumper which is from the sisters and seek but also last night we were watching a Christmas film and I can't remember what it's called But it's the new woman Lindsay Lohan in on Netflix and I'm gonna be honest This might be an unpopular opinion. I don't know I haven't really seen what people said about it, but wasn't really a fan I thought it was just quite unrealistic Though we were all watching it and more laughing because we were like it's kind of bad that we're laughing Like we weren't laughing in a good way They were also talking about like influencers in it and it was just I don't know It was just very odd and I was just very kind of disappointed by the film Maybe just because it was a very like modern take on a Christmas film 
I don't know. Let me know what you thought down below, but just personally, I know that us last night watching it weren't that much of a fan. However, that's just my opinion. Also, tonight we're doing a white elephant. Last year we did Secret Santa, but because there's double the amount of people and we decided to do this quite late, we thought a white elephant might be easier. So if you don't know what a white elephant is, you basically buy a present that is suitable for like anybody in the group. And then I don't know the exact rules, but I will film it. You get to like swap the present like three times until you get oh, fingers crossed the present that you want. I actually really like the present that I bought. I don't know what anybody else has bought, so I'm excited to see. We're gonna do that as well. So anyway, I'm now gonna prep the food and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all out on the platters. Who knew it could take so long to make some sandwiches? So in the end, because basically I only bought cheese and ham and then that sandwich filler, I kind of thought it just looked a bit bland. So I used some salad from the fridge. We've got some cucumber in there now. We've got some lettuce in there. I've done loads of different sandwiches, but I am gonna try and do another tray because I have enough bread to do another tray. That took way too long. That took like 40 minutes to make one tray of sandwiches. How is that even possible? Okay, I've finished the sandwiches and now I'm just planning what is gonna go on the other platters before Byron and Freya get here. I think Freya is gonna help me do it, but I'm gonna put all of the crisps and the dip on one. Now I have three spare. I think this is the best way to do it. And thank God I actually got six platters. I thought I was only gonna need four, but I'm gonna do one with the hot sausage rolls on as well. Cause I've got a bag of sausage rolls in the freezer and then mini eggs, well, savory mini eggs, roast chicken bites, and then the cheese coleslaw. Then we're gonna have one that's a bit like, what are they called again? I literally make them all the time, a charcuterie board. So it's got olives, crackers, and the cold meats on it. Should have got some cheese really. That is the only thing I'm lacking. I have grated cheese, but I don't know if that's really gonna hit the same with that sort of thing. But, and then I'm gonna do like a dessert one. So we've got party rings, chocolate fingers, cookies, muffins, and Oreos. So weirdly, I feel like this has worked out very, very well. I've just put the two platters of sandwiches in the fridge until everyone comes and then we can get them out. I'm so excited now. I love hosting so much and I love food prepping. It makes me so excited. Byron and Freya are now here and we've just finished laying out all of the food. I have put the sausage rolls in the oven. This is screaming like year five, year six leavers party. <laughs> it really, really is and I love it. I'm so hungry. I cannot wait to eat all of this. depends on the order you go up and choose a present. So if you have number one, you go and choose a present, you unwrap it, and then the next person goes who has two, and two can either steal from number one, or they can go up and pick a new present. If they pick a new present, then they obviously pick one and open it, and the third person chooses one or two, or goes and picks one. Yeah, so then by the time it gets around to number 11, it will go back to number one, and then I'll have the final chance yeah, to steal. Yeah, each, each present, present, every time we go, can we really But you can only, yeah, yeah, you can only yeah. steal the present three times. Yeah, so once we so stole three yeah, times, then you'll stop with it. Keep going, Sam, you win it! Sam, go, Sam! Sam, 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 Sam,
Sunday so I actually had yesterday doing nothing which is my first day doing when I mean nothing I mean literally nothing since I got back I laid in bed the only time I got up was to go to the toilet and make food and I watched manifest all day I'm obsessed with that series I'm on season four now like season four part one which is on Netflix and I've got five episodes left so I'm gonna binge those tonight I cannot wait but anyway woke up this morning and I was actually planning on doing my Christmas wrapping like earlier this morning because it's now I think like two o'clock yeah it's exactly two o'clock and then yesterday i had a really sore like itchy red eye like this one here it was kind of swollen like this happens to my eyes a lot like my eyes got really sunburned in australia and i was struggling with that for the first couple of weeks it kind of come back yesterday and obviously i was like well it's not sunburned because it is winter like as winter as it can get here so i was like i don't know what it is maybe i'm like allergic to something maybe it could have been my eyelash glue because sometimes when i like peel my eyelashes off it gets really sticky anyway woke up this morning and i had a rash like all over my knees all down my thighs all on my elbows i think it's well actually it's still here i just don't know if you're going to be able to see it because i've put loads of like pseudo cream on it and it has faded a little bit compared to what it was this morning but it was a really itchy like red rash and i was like okay i've either got like heat rash or got, like a hive rash or something like that i used to suffer with eczema a lot when i was younger but normally you get that like in on the inner part of your arm not the outer part and it's like that all over my thighs and my knees as well so i was like crap so i rang my mum and i was like what do i do because i feel like i go into like panic mode every time like, cause i live on my own like, anytime like the smallest inconvenience goes wrong i'm like mom hello help me so i rang him and she was like it's fine like don't stress so i went to asda and i got some antihistamine tablets you can only take one a day so i take taken one of those put pseudo cream and e45 all over my body and yeah i feel completely fine so fingers crossed it is going to go down because i have a really busy and exciting day in london tomorrow i mean my full body is going to be covered anyway but it's just quite itchy so yeah i've been dealing with that this morning however i have now washed all my bed sheets washed all my towels still need to clean over the bathrooms which to be honest i probably should have done before i done my christmas wrapping but i'm just having like a very organized my life day also because i'm in london all day tomorrow and then tuesday i go home and then when i come back my mum and atticus are coming with me so i need to leave my house tuesday morning how i want it to be when mum and atticus arrive so i still need to hoover i still need to wipe over the living room and stuff but i've done the washing and put new bed sheets on which is like the biggest chore so i'm happy i've done that but now it is time to do my christmas wrapping to be honest I don't have that much to wrap. I also need to wrap mum's presents, but I'm doing kind of separate videos. You guys will see what I mean once you've watched my Christmas Day video and once you've watched another video as well. So I can't really show what I'm wrapping to be honest, but I can show you how cute my wrapping is. I got this wrapping from Amazon. You get these roll. Well, to be fair, they're very small, but these two. And I also got this one as well. Oh, this keeps falling out of that. And then I panicked that that wasn't going to be enough. So I got two more rolls from Asda. And then I got these really cute gift boxes from Asda as well i got these really cute gift bags i've got this cute little gift box here which is from b&m as well and then from b&m i also got this like big wrapping kit which has got loads of like bows and ribbon oh and it has got tags in as well i actually bought separate tags so i didn't realize it had tags in i've got tags and i've got tissue paper and then i need to write all of my christmas cards i need to take nan pam's chris's christmas present down with me and then my mum's birthday present so i'm going to spend the next hour or two just completely prepping everything for christmas and i'm so excited i feel like i've just jumped straight into christmas this year because coming back from oz it was already like the 12th of december so i just like plunged straight into it however I did think ahead and i actually did all my christmas shopping whilst i was in australia and then just ordered it to my flat which was amazing because if i'd got back on december like 12th and i had done nothing i think i'd be struggling a lot right now but anyway i'm gonna sit and wrap some of my presents and then i can show you what 
they look like once they're wrapped. All of my Christmas wrapping is done. Like I said, to find out what I'm actually kind of doing and surprising my family with this Christmas, you are going to have to keep an eye on my channel because it is very, very exciting. But yeah, this is all of the wrapping. Everything looks so cute. I'm actually obsessed with it all. This is from Amazon. And then, no, sorry, that's from Asda. And these are from Amazon. And then all the bows are from B&M. But yeah, it's so, so cute. And this big bag was from Asda as well. And so it was that box. But everything matches together like perfectly. So I'm going to pop all of this under my tree. You can probably hear my Christmas film really loud in the background. I'm actually about to watch Nativity. But I can actually show these because by the time this video goes out, Mum and Atticus, I think, would have seen them already. But I've actually got us all a little stocking for this year. We never really do like stockings. Mum always does sacks. But we've never really done stockings. And I thought for the first Christmas at mine, I'm going to do them. So I got these from Amazon. It's just a little three pack of white furry ones. And then underneath here, I've actually got the gold. Oh, well, this is for Atticus, obviously. Giant box of chocolate fingers. And then these are the gold charger plates for Christmas dinner. I know you're meant to put a plate on top of this. However, we always just serve Christmas dinner straight onto these plates. I actually got these from Amazon. And then these are the crackers for this year as well. I also got these from Amazon. I wanted to do like a full gold and white and black theme. And I feel like they're very on theme. And then, yeah, I've got the stockings as well. Without spoiling too much of what is going to be in the stockings, I have basically just got mine, mum's and Atticus's complete range of favourite chocolates. Like I've got everything here. We've got matchmakers, Maltesers, Walnut Whips, Kit Kats. I've got mum this big tin of wagon wheels. All of this is from B&M as well. And it was really, really affordable. All of my wrapping is done. And I have in practice ordered some food, but I cannot stop eating these. They are crunchy rocks. And I have suddenly got such a bad obsession with crunchy. And then I saw these when I went to Asda earlier and I was like, oh my God. And I was going to save them for after my dinner. But I've in fact got about four left. I have eaten the whole bag. But I have just ordered myself a Wagamama. I wanted to order myself a roast dinner. However, all the places are so busy right now that it's only pick up. And I'm not going to lie, can't be asked to go out. So instead I've ordered myself a Wagamama and I'm finishing watching Manifest. I've got three episodes left, guys. I'm so into this series. You need to watch it. If you haven't seen it, it actually was on Australian Netflix, which is how I was watching it. But it's only season four is on the UK one. So when I got back, I had to buy it on Amazon. It was £17 for season three. But I bought it straight away because I was dying to watch it. And yeah, it's amazing. The end of season three had me literally like sat up in bed last night like at my laptop. It's so good. Yum. What an absolute dream. I've got Manifest on and my wagon mamas has finally come. I got sticky rice. I got katsu sauce, edamame, and then I got some bang bang cauliflower and duck gozers. And I'm going to eat all of this. I'm so hungry. I honestly have no words right now. I just finished watching Manifest and I didn't realise that part two for season four wasn't coming out for a very long time. Well, they think the release date is going to be June 2nd. How am I going to wait? I literally literally was sat up like waiting for the next bit to happen and then the credits just started rolling like that is the biggest cliffhanger ever and oh I'm so annoyed because I want to know what happened so bad and now I'm not going to find out for probably another six months but anyway I would recommend that series so much it was amazing because I love conspiracy theories and I love like anything to do with that sort of realm and that basically is what it is it's one big conspiracy theory mixed with like fbi and police and like murder investigations it's just everything in one it was amazing but yeah not going to find out the ending for a very long time anyway i am now going to get into bed i'm going to put some more cream on because i still have my rash which is really annoying so i'm going to put another layer of cream on it and then i've got to get up really early tomorrow morning because i am heading to london Saf and i are recording our episode of the podcast like it's just me and her because normally we have a guest on every single episode episode but occasionally we want to have an episode where it's just us so we can really sit and talk to each other about what's going on in our own personal lives and I want to tell her some stories about Australia as well and then tomorrow's topic for the podcast is really really fun so yeah I'm excited for that make sure you guys are listening on Spotify it's called Sex Lies and DM Slides if you haven't listened already and then after that I'm actually heading into the BBC building because I'm recording my section for the radio on Christmas day still cannot believe I'm getting to do that by the way I'm just about to get into bed and write my um little piece pieces because I've got the links which involve my name like they wrote those for me but I need to write my own links for what I'm talking about like in between the songs I had no idea what to speak about because I wanted to involve you guys and my family and my friends somehow because I'm on the radio Christmas day like how amazing and I finally figured out like a way to do that by like asking you guys questions on Instagram and I've come up with some topics and I'm very excited so I'm gonna sit and write my links and then yeah I'm gonna go to bed but I will see you guys in the morning when I'm heading to London bright and early good morning everyone it is the next day and it 
it is just before half past seven so i am up early i'm ready to go to london i woke up at half five this morning because i wanted to check the rash before i went and it has in fact spread it's gone really really bad um it's all up my hands and my arms now i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on camera it's very very faint because i still have a slight tan but it's really bad on my legs uh so i rang a out of hours doctor and i managed to get a doctor's appointment for six o'clock tonight and i'm gutted because it means that i'm going to miss a meal with staff and our managers however i was like i need to put my health first and i need to go and get some cream for it or some tablets or something because i can just feel like it's so itchy and it's also spread to like my bum and my back so i've covered myself in pseudo cream i've taken another antihistamine until i can get to the doctors later however we are going to go to london i'm going to get some breakfast film the podcast film radio one and then head back to the doctors just picking what handbag to take i think i'm going to bring this one so then it can still go on my shoulder because that doesn't fit on my shoulder when i have my coat on and neither will this one so i think i'm going to take this one merry christmas everybody i am anastasia kingsworth and i'm taking over bbc radio one for the next half an hour for the tiktok takeover I'm back in the exact same spot that I was this morning. Um, I have been in London all day. It was so much fun. I didn't film anything in the podcast because I was a little bit late turning up because of traffic and so was stuff. So we had to get straight into the recording. And then I had to leave literally straight away to go to BBC. But my manager did film some clips of me in BBC. It was so much fun. Like it just felt so natural being there. I can't explain it, but like I just did it first time without messing up and I loved it so much. It was just amazing. So yeah, thank you so much BBC radio one i cannot wait for you guys to listen in on christmas day and then i went to the doctors obviously i come home to go to the doctors and i feel like i've got a bit of peace of mind now because i'm the type of person that will like overthink every single little health thing that i have wrong with me to the point where i generally do think i'm gonna die like I, that is just me it's so annoying that i do it and i was really panicking i was like i don't understand what this is because i'm not really prone to rashes i basically fully explained what had happened that my eye had started like itching first and that had swelled up a bit and then that went down and then it started on my elbow and ease and kind of spread i'm gonna put a picture in of my legs here just so you guys can kind of see what sort of rash i'm on about it looks a lot like heat rash and every person i've showed said it looks like heat rash but she said it's nothing to worry about because i've got no temperature i feel completely fine my heart rate was normal like she checked everything and she said i just basically need to keep taking antihistamines and put in like cream on it that i know is not gonna react bad so i've got some pseudo cream and i've got some e45 so i'm just gonna kind of mix those two together and yeah fingers crossed she said it could take up to a week to go so i'm just gonna keep taking the tablet and keep doing that i was hoping there was going to be something that i could get like prescribed but she said there was nothing stronger than like the antihistamine that i'm already taking so yeah it's very itchy that is the only thing like i've been dying to itch all day and now i've itched it once i can't stop itching it so i'm really trying to tell myself not to itch it but yes so i had that little dilemma which is fun fingers crossed for me that it goes down naturally and doesn't spread anymore i mean my hand and my arm looks dare i say a little better than it did this morning so fingers crossed my body will clear up in the next couple of days as well i've just got to keep taking the antihistamine and keep moisturizing it but i am now gonna take my makeup off i'm gonna jump in the shower lay myself up with cream and have some dinner and i actually need to pack my suitcase to go home because tomorrow morning i am leaving to go home for christmas well say go home for christmas i am but then we're coming back here but technically i'm still going home for christmas and i'm actually going out for dinner tomorrow night with my nan my uncle mum and Atticus, so which is going to be really fun chris is actually taking us all out for our christmas present from him and we're going to a really nice restaurant called the Jurassic grill it's like dinosaur themed down Rushden lakes so and i've actually never been but atticus loves it so that's why chris picked there so yeah i've seen my nan tomorrow i've seen chris tomorrow which is very exciting cannot wait to see them both it's been a while since i've seen them obviously i haven't seen them since i come back from australia so i've got loads of stories to tell them and yeah then it's going to be christmas content so i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you guys very soon for a brand new video Mwah.